Well, the monsoons have passed. We've had about four or five inches of rain. So we're down here working on the 4320. Got my tool here, got this busty loose. And, oops, you can't see, can you? Hold your hat and move that over just a little bit. Atta boy. It's clean though, no water. That's a beautiful thing. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your hand. I oh, know, don't get my day job. I want to stole the step off the uh, 2510 to put on here. We took the floor plate off, got it. We're the sun, he's uh, cleaning it up, getting the rust off of it, going to prime and paint it, and going to get some new bolts. As you can see, the cab is gone. We've done some work on the seat. Still haven't got to the axle yet. I don't show you how to spend five hundred dollars in just a little bit of time. That right there is five hundred dollars, five hundred something dollars. And of course, most of you that does this stuff knows that's what it is. But it added it is a complete air cleaner, fuel filter, oil filter. Trans filter, transmission oil, and motor oil. I'm putting Rotella 30 in it. I like 30 weight. A lot of folks say, no, I'll put 50, 40, but I'm going to go with 30 weight. That's what it's always worked, and that's the way it works for me. We also have a future project. Bearing gone out in this, so we're going to have to fix that before crop season. Because I have looked at another one, but I just don't know if I want to spend that kind of money right now the way things are and we do have the fenders there over there on there well you can't you won't be able to see it from here and uh this tractor been gone from the farm over 30 something years not 20 that was my boo-boo i got to thinking about it and uh it was either 1984 or 1985 when uh my farmer friend bought this And this is 2023, so y'all do the numbers. Flowing oil. This is the fun one right here. Only way I ever was able to get it off in the past to drive a screwdriver through it and just break it loose. But I do want to get it good and serviced. I have got that sending in it right now. I finally, I took, when I got the hood off, I took this out and locked all pliers and kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going until they got it and then i cranked it up and let it run just a little bit just to see and hey no oil but with new filters and everything i would hope that oh changing the subject this is what we got right here I've got to break these loose, get them loose, and I've got to break them loose, jack it up, do all that kind of stuff, see if I can get this nice light wheel, light wheel off, which I figure weighs probably about 1,600 to 1,800 pounds with the stuff that's in there, the water, that saltized water. I'm sorry, guys. I just ain't got the proper words. But anyway, we'll be working on this off and on. And Friday, we were off. And Saturday, we were off. We came down to work Friday until it got too cold and stopped what we were doing and went to the house. I was finished cleaning it up, but we're happy to have it here. And like I say, we're going to get it going. And good Lord willing, it's going to rock its socks. You can't see it's dark. Key switch. Switch on. Cranks up.
Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. This is the axle who has the bad bearing, as you can see. Uh, Steven and I, my son, worked on this yesterday afternoon. The only reason the cast is still on here is because we couldn't get the wedges to do what they're supposed to do. So, and I decided to just take the wheel off. Of course, I drained all the juice out of it. Another story, but as you can see, I've got all the holes out, I mean the bolts out, except for the top one and the bottom one. I'm gonna go get the 2510 and some chains and see what I can do about getting it just right so we can get this thing off and get it down to the mechanic and let him uh, get us another bearing and maybe he got a trick for that because I used all my bag of tricks and it's pretty much all I got. It's been on there for a long time. In the old days, if this bearing wasn't messed up, we would loosen it up and then go for a ride and hit the brake and every now and then it would pop. You'd hear it pop. And when you done that, then you're ready to, to um, move the wheel according, move the, yeah, move the wheel according to wherever you need to. I'm just giving you a little update. And then on the tractor itself, um, we have a new oil filter. We have a new fuel, fuel filter, new oil in the engine, um, whole new air cleaner, all three, uh, both pipes. So I have something else I did, but I don't know what it is. I did find some issues and been working on them and the little oil solenoid unit evidently ain't connected right or something because it's supposed to the little light here is supposed to be on until the oil pressure hits it and it's not functioning so i don't know this is where we're at right now and on the crops and stuff just about the time it get, it quits it gets dry enough to go through the field we get another rain and most of you understand that so i just let you know kind of a Update on everything right this minute. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye.
Yeah. All right, this is what it looks like without the axle. 